Also today, the New Orleans City Council approved a new plan to form a committee to rename certain streets all across the city. And Gina, they say that the streets are linked to the Confederate era and promote white supremacy. WDSU reporter Aubrey Killian is live in Mid-City to explain. Aubrey? Hey, Sola, so during public comment, the majority of people said that this is overdue and they want streets like Jefferson Davis renamed. Now, while there were a few people that said they want the street name to stay the same, the city council stressed today that they are moving forward with their decision. So let me walk you through what exactly happened inside of City Hall today and what this decision does in fact mean. So a committee will form and make suggestions on changes that they want to see. This is for streets, parks and public places in the city that are linked to the Confederate era. Now many want a timeline on when these changes are going to happen. The council says though that the study will take a few months. We spoke with locals about this decision. I would definitely like to see um, the renaming of Jefferson Davis Parkway to uh, Norman C. Francis Parkway and um, I believe um, maybe Lee Circle could be renamed to maybe Lee Chase Circle. Um, just just some things like that to, to symbolize that we are with the shift that's that's occurring. We're recognizing what's going on in America and we're doing something about it. Me, myself, uh, I'll say I'll leave it for what it is. But like they change, I, I, I can't do nothing about it. So the council did stress that the public will have a say in this decision. They also said that the committee that is being formed will also take a look at the monuments that have already come down and decide what could be replaced there. Reporting live, I'm Aubrey Killian, WDSU News.